right, welcome everyone back to the third and final video. I, you see I already have the links and stuff. Uh, so yeah, this one is about the naming and uploading to D2L. Again, I've already made a, a couple videos about finding and entering data into our Excel spreadsheet, about refining and dealing with missing data, right, how to do all that stuff. And so what we've come out from those two videos, at least what I've come up with uh, so far is this. Uh, my Excel sheet that I'd like to go ahead and turn in. Notice obviously that I'm missing some stuff. I only did two metrics here for the, the sake of the videos. You obviously have to do five metrics, so please make sure you do five metrics and you get the full credit, all that good stuff. Make sure that your weights add up to one. Uh, so of course, right, maybe this would have to be like 20 here. Uh, my metric two would have to be 40%, uh, right? And so make, make sure that this number at the end of the day, right, comes up to one with all five metrics. So, right, choose your own. Uh, again, you'll have to talk about why you chose these things uh, later on in the actual writing portion of the writing project. Uh, but for right now, right, we're just doing the data portion. So, okay, let's say I have this. This is what I want to submit. And I'm gonna go back to the Math 101 uh, website and I'm gonna show you, right, if you haven't read through this, this is very important, the writing project rubric, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up in a new tab here. The writing project rubric tells you exactly how you're going to be scored, uh, along with reiterating the due dates and all this sort of stuff, right? So for instance, it mentions here about on 214, right, you need to bring two printed copies of a draft of your essay uh, for peer revisions, right, so that you guys can actually talk about it and again, so that you do well on this. Uh, the final version, right, w of that essay is due on March 18th, so you certainly have some time. But what we're dealing with right now is, right, I'd like to go ahead and upload this ranking spreadsheets to D D2L. Uh, and again, this is due on Monday, February 18th at 10 p.m. Uh, and I'll mention this in class, and it's also on D2L and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and so here's where it talks. It says it'll be live on 2.14. It's actually, it is live now. We can upload now. Uh, I had to check, to, you know, in the making of this video. Uh, you should have right, one of these common Excel files, so docs, dot, uh, .xls, xlsx, numbers, PDF, uh, right, these things will not be accepted, right? Uh, so yes, I, I would stick with just the regular Excel, uh, right? Or if you'd like to, right, it says PDF is fine, but again, the, anything besides these four right here will not be accepted. Right, okay, and then the big thing here is the naming convention. So last name, underscore, first name, all of these are in caps, and then a section number. So for example, Lund, underscore, Rachel, underscore, 003. Um, so that's the first big thing is, right, what we need to actually name this. So when you download it, I think it's just lab four. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and file save as, I'm gonna do this under my downloads here. And again, it's last name. So here, McCombs underscore first name, in this case, Ryan, and then my section. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pretend that I'm in section uh, 12, right? Okay, so section 12. So, all right, and it's gonna save as an Excel workbook, excellent. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save. So the first thing is making sure that you save it correctly. Uh, and let me stress here the importance of this, right? When we go down here and you actually see the, the grading rubric and everything, right? Identifying information. So things like the tile, the header, the name of the section, right? And the correct file name. This is worth 10 points. All or nothing. And so it's very important that you try to get these correct, right? This, these are easy points right here. So make sure that you're paying attention to this. Uh, you need to get them correct here, and you also need to get them correct uh, when you're actually doing the writing project and turning that in. So please make sure that you name these things correctly. Okay, now that I have them named correctly, I went ahead and I went to D2L, right? So we have this D2L page that's usually quite boring, right? It just usually looks like this. It has course home and a link to our course website, which has, you know, the majority of our information. I suspect maybe as the uh, date gets closer here, we may get an additional announcement or so, um, but okay. The big thing here is right under upcoming events, we have a, a link here. Uh, and like I said, maybe later on we'll have an announcement as well. But this talks about the uh, ranking countries spreadsheet. So that's what I want to turn in right now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and just run you through the process here, uh, acting as a student. So now it talks about a little bit more detail, right, when it opened up, all that sort of stuff. And if we go ahead and we click on the ranking country spreadsheet, this will give us the page that we can actually upload 
our stuff. So um, you can see it has some more assignment information and whatnot. If you try to click submit, it'll get angry at you, right? Hey, you were supposed to give me a file. You should probably do that, right? So, okay, we'll go ahead down here and right, we're gonna add a file. And it's from my computer. And I'm gonna go ahead and find it. I think I did it in downloads here. So I'm gonna go up, I think under downloads. And all right, there it is, right there. Just saved it, 1005, yep, that's the one. I'm gonna go ahead and upload that. And there it is, you can see that good file extension right there, one of these Excel files. Again, you can do PDFs and numbers and all that sort of stuff, but okay, this is good. Uh, let's go ahead and add. And then here you can write a little note. There we go. And then we click Submit. And this time, because we've actually submitted the file, we can write, see, file submission successful, right? You definitely want to see that, that it actually uploaded and is happy and all that sort of stuff. There's my comments right there. Uh, and you can look at view history. You can upload more files, which you wouldn't really want to. It reiterates what day and time you actually did your submission, uh, right? And then we can just click Done. All right, and yes, this is a nice short video, right? That's the naming and the actual uploading to D2L. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to send me an email or your TA an email or whatnot. Uh, otherwise, have a great day. I'll see you out there.